CBS Laboratories or CBS Labs later known as the CBS Technology Center or CTC was the technology research and development organization of CBS. Innovations developed at the labs included many groundbreaking broadcast, industrial, and consumer technologies. Topic history CBS Laboratories was established in 1936 in New York City to conduct technological research for CBS and outside clients. The CBS Laboratories Division CLD moved from Madison Avenue in New York to a new facility in Stamford, Connecticut in 1958. Dr. Peter Goldmark joined CBS Laboratories in 1936. On September 4, 1940, while working at the lab, he demonstrated the field sequential color TV system. It utilized a mechanical color wheel on both the camera and on the television home receiver, but was not compatible with the existing post-war NTSC, 525-line, 60-field-per-second black-and-white TV sets as it was a 405-line, 144-field scanning system. It was the first color broadcasting system that received FCC approval in 1950, and the CBS television network began broadcasting in color on November 20, 1950. However, no other TV set manufacturers made the sets, and CBS stopped broadcasting in field sequential color on October 21, 1951. Goldmark's interest in recorded music led to the development of the long playing LP 33 to one third of a revolution per minute vinyl record, which became the standard for incorporating multiple or lengthy recorded works on a single audio disc for two generations. The LP was introduced to the marketplace by Columbia Records in 1948. In 1959 the CBS Audimax i Audio Gain Controller was introduced. It was the first of its kind in the broadcasting industry. In the 1960s the CBS Volumax Audio FM Peak Limiter was introduced, also the first of its kind in the broadcasting industry. Electronic video recording was announced in 1967. In 1966, the CBS Vidifant was invented. It was the first electronic graphics generator used in television production. Brought to the marketplace at the NAB in 1970, it revolutionized television production. The Minicam was developed for use in national political conventions in 1968. In 1971, a backwards compatible four channel encoding technique was developed for vinyl records, called SQ Quadraphonic, based on work by musician Peter Scheiber and Labs engineer Benjamin B. Bauer. That same year, CBS Labs staff scientist Dennis Gabor received the Nobel Prize in Physics for earlier work on holography. Upon Peter Goldmark's retirement, also in 1971, Senior Vice President Renville H. McMahon assumed the role of Labs President. CBS Laboratories was reorganized in 1975. The CLD Professional Products Department, which manufactured the products developed by the Labs for sale to the broadcast industry, was sold to Thomson CSF. McMahon and some of the research engineers involved in the existing products were also transferred to support the effort, with McMahon returning to the labs sometime later. The core company R&D function was renamed CBS Technology Center CTC, and Bauer was promoted to vice president and general manager of CTC. In 1978, the CBS ActionTrack system was spun off from a digital noise reducer project. In 1986 Lawrence Tisch took control of CBS and closed CTC as part of company-wide streamlining. The two buildings at High Ridge Road were raised and the property sold. <laughs> <laughs> Undated developments Over its nearly 30 years of operation in Stamford, various technologies were developed at the lab, including Gemini spacecraft voice recorder CBS loudness meter and loudness control CBS net alert broadcast radio network signaling system CBS disk computer record mastering system Gulbranson Equinox 380 microprocessor controlled keyboard instrument Interactive download of musical keyboard performance over Venture One Shop at Home trial using pre MIDI interface CX, LP noise reduction system 
FMX, FM noise reduction system Printed sound, a system for generating audible information from a soundtrack printed on paper Topic. Emmy Awards 1970–1971, color corrector which can provide color uniformity between television picture segments and scenes shot and recorded under different conditions at different times and locations 1972–1973, CMX 600 nonlinear video tape editing system developed by CMX Systems, a CBS, Memorex company utilizing a computer to aid the decision-making process, store the editing decisions and implement them in the final assembly of takes 1974–1975, electronic news gathering system 1977–1978, digital noise reducer 1980–1981, Digital Electronic Still Store System, which made the magnetic storage and electronic broadcasting of film slides and graphics easier to manage and more reliable with consistent high quality 1988–1989, Single Camera Editing System 1991–1992, A.B. Dick, CBS Laboratories and Chiron, Joint Award Electronic Character Generation for Television CBS Laboratories and Philips Joint Award Triax Cable Camera Technology 1993 Mini Rapid Deployment Earth Terminal 2001-2002 Alignment Color Bar Test Signal for Television Picture Monitors <laughs> <laughs>